Hello my Libras, I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for your week of the 26th of February to the 3rd of March. So sorry, like my brain just went blank. So um, I have a new mic, yes, for those of you who are wondering, uh, just to make the sound quality a bit better because it's so windy today that uh, it's literally so noisy in this building. So this one is much better at cancelling out the sounds than the other one. So there we go. Let's dive into your reading, my lovelies. Let's see what's going on for you guys. My lovely Libras, please, spirit. One more. Okay, I'm going to pick up the one that came out that was face down. So the first one you have is all that glitters. All right, this could be, you know, diving to the deeper meaning of something and realizing a different uh, perspective about it. So something that looks good on the surface might end up being quite negative underneath, whether it's a person or not, or a situation. Something that looks bad on the surface could actually be quite golden underneath. So this is really a matter of understanding something at the root and not looking at superficial things. Not that you do that, but just like a message for this week. So we also have the Imagine card, which is a really good card for elevating, going to the next level in life, which is good. This is a really good sign that uh, you've passed a test of some sort. Maybe it's because you have seen something from a deeper, more, yeah, a, a deeper point of view rather than a, a surface layer. Um, there's a lot of different ways that this can come up. There's a lot of scenarios in my head. So I'm going to like wait a little bit. But this is saying that you've, um, I'm hearing you've earned a crown. I'm hearing you've earned a crown. You've earned a crown, Libra. Uh, so the imagine card is you rising up as you go into the next level. And because it says imagine, it's saying to think big things in this next level. Do not play it small, okay, um, with whatever your goals are. The next card you have is feeling blessed. I love this energy because this tells me that there is no rush on your side to uh to kind of move forward because this blessed energy is about understanding that maybe you dodged a bullet again maybe this is really saying that once you move on forward you'll be able to really look back at something and realize that not everything that glitters is gold not everything that looks good on the surface is actually good underneath so uh there could be potentially a person or opportunity that you kind of had a weird feeling about and you trust that or maybe you did have to find out and you realize, oh my god, like I dodged a bullet somehow with that. Because a blessed card is, again, like you are out of the flow of life. You're able to really realize you're blessed. And also, this card comes to me. You've gained your wings, by the way. This is saying that you are slowly and steadily transforming. And I think you're halfway through that transformation, by the way. You've gained your wings, which sometimes can make us really excited. And we just want to go out and do things because of that new energy that's coming through. So that is some freedom that you've gained. Some understanding of your freedom and your sense of self. But you're not done developing yet. So sometimes we have this urge to to jump into something when we're not quite ready for it. You know, half of you is still in that little cocoon that little chrysalis here so with the blessed card just remember not to rush ahead into anything and i do see that you are gaining a different perspective this week you have the tiktok card that's so interesting because this is usually coming through when we are i wasn't supposed to do that to be honest i was supposed to go for this deck this is sometimes comes through when we're trying to control the timing of something or the timing of something is causing a lot of frustration and problems. So with that blessed card, maybe there is a lesson here to not have that frustration, to stay above it because you're not quite ready yet to dive straight in. The timing is not quite right yet to dive straight in. It doesn't mean that we don't do anything in that time. But whatever it is that you're wanting to dive into, whatever it is, I will d jump into it and hopefully find out what that is. Uh, you're not quite ready for it just yet. The timing is not quite right. That's what Spirit is saying. But you are elevating. So don't dream small. All right, just because you're not ready now. It's just saying to, to hold on. So you have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, which is your third eyes opening. You'll be able to start to see the signs and synchronicities from the universe a lot more. Let's get one more. Oh, you have a lot of chakras coming through. You have the base chakra, the first chakra, Archangel Michael coming through here. Which Archangel Michael, I'm not sure about Metatron, so let me know down below about the Archangels. I'm not that educated on it, but I do know that Archangel Michael cuts away things that uh, could be a blockage or are trying to harm you, okay? So these two chakras, this, this week is really about 
your awareness and awakening to the truth and to the, the universe around you and to understand you know um, what's between the lines you, your ability to see things for what they are and your identity so that could go hand in hand you're able to actually understand through the spiritual world who you really are this are this week so your identity maybe you're aware you're more aware of things that could be your ego shadow self you know things that might have been holding you back in life um this is really about the root of things and the root of who you are is coming through here when these chakra cards come through sometimes they are blocked before so maybe uh you might have been held in a bit of an illusion in the past okay which is why that is coming through now is that you're unblocking that this also comes through maybe there was some money blockages or there was some like um identity issues which usually kind of manifests in having a little bit of scarcity in your life comes from like a your base chakra um because there's like a lack of belief of what you're deserving of and that that is to do with your identity and how you see yourself and how therefore the world sees you so that's all shifting and changing so don't worry about it i'm gonna dive into your reading let's see what your energy is gonna be like for the week libra ace of wands judgment which we kind of have with that imagine card one more and you have the nine of wands very interesting can i just get a clarification for the nine of wands the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Ace of Wands tells me that you'll be feeling very passionate this week, okay? There is some new beginning that's sparking here. Maybe there is like a change of environment. This could be travel. Usually can be moving home sometimes like a new environment. But it can just be this new passionate beginning. Judgment is also about, it's very similar to that Imagine card. It's what I see. It's about learning a lesson, passing a test, um, it's about letting go of something so that you can move on to the next level, okay? Sometimes it's a card of reconciliation or understanding that lost situation that you've just been through, that lost chapter. So now you're ready to move to the next, all right? And that next chapter seems to be to do with your passion, your motivation. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior vibes. There is something that clearly has hurt you and has caused you to be on guard moving forward. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing to protect yourself here, but just make sure that you're not um what's the word for it distrusting what the universe has for you okay make sure you're not kind of there's an energy here that you're yeah so okay nine of wands is being clarified by the knight of pentacles reversed that's kind of an energy but maybe it is the timing of something the knight of pentacles feels like something is not moving let's just clarify with a different deck it's coming through again so you have temperance nine of wands and the the knight of uh wands as well so this is almost very strong the sagittarius energy coming through for you guys by the way it almost feels like there's this willingness to go and move forward that ace of wands is reminding me of this knight of wands you're wanting to go out there you're wanting to take this idea and move it forward um you're wanting to to go out there you're wanting to go and go and go the Nine of Wands kind of feels like I do see that the universe is holding you back a little bit. That Knight of Pentacles, something's not moving forward. Maybe you don't have the funds for it, for example. Knight of Pentacles is usually like an offer or slow progress. But the fact that it's reversed, is, especially with the card of patience, is just saying here that something is kind of blocked a little bit. But it's not blocked. They're asking you to be balanced first before you move into it. So very similar to what I'm saying here in regards to you're moving up a level that's for sure you feel that you know that you have this new energy that's coming through but you're not like i'm seeing you kind of pushing on a pedal here the accelerator and the universe is like got a handbrake up almost it's like no 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 not right now but yes soon like that's the energy it feels like so you're a little bit like hmm like i'm getting ready i'm prepared for this new beginning right let's see what the blockage could be this week then then we're going to go into individually clarifying these cards. The blockage is the sun card is happiness. Two of swords is making a decision or an intuitive decision, which is to do with this happiness. You could be blocking yourself off from happiness. And sometimes that happens when we're like, I'm only going to be happy when I'm there. I think a big lesson here is by understanding that where you are now is okay. It's okay to be happy now. It's okay to find happiness in this present moment, even though you want other things. It's not going to block that. In fact, it feels like the universe is trying to support that energy of you are okay where you are now, even though it might not be the place or the 
feelings that you want to have, but it's just about trying to find that, um, trying to find that happiness in a present moment, like trying to be more childish with that. You know, children can literally be in like really crappy situations, but they don't know the difference because they're just too busy thinking about, you know, other things. So it's almost like that's the energy I'm getting for you. So be a bit more childlike this week. Allow your child like energy to have fun to to come out. Don't block your childish energy. Okay. Right. Let's let's carry on. Let's see what the all that glitters card is about. Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. That's very interesting. Now, this Ten of Swords actually says everything is fine, which kind of gives a really good positive ending. So even though a difficult situation has happened and it's usually the 10 so you know maybe it is an ending of something maybe to do with a goal maybe to do with a relationship um this this 10 of souls is saying like everything is fine like something needed to be seen or something needed to come to an end something needed to be rejected something needed to happen in order for you to actually really see the truth of something in order for you to maybe gain some sort of new goal uh, and new uh, new milestone. Let's clarify one more time, please. The Wheel of Fortune is fated. That's what they're saying. There is fortune behind this. So if it looks crappy at first, again, like that's the kind of thing. It might look crappy, a crappy situation, but uh, there is going to be a successful outcome because of that. All right, let's see the Imagine card. The Imagine card is coming through the Seven of Cups, which is interesting because it's kind of about like, I think it is really about being in your imagination because it is about imagining. And it's really about thinking about the options that you want in this next chapter of yours, which is very similar to what we've been saying. I think there's a lot of options in front of you. You have the Hermit energy is about using your wisdom. Maybe you're taking some time out for yourself so that you can make a decision here of wands all right there's a lot of maybe desires and the seven of cups there's a lot of internal conflict that's what's coming through here the hermit is asking for you to kind of gain a different perspective of it to look at it from a higher perspective what would that be the death card transformation and change is happening here So it kind of feels like your emotions are really going to be quite conflicting this week. Maybe it's because of the certain options that you have or the, the time frame that you're going through. The fact that you are elevating your feelings could definitely be heightened here. There could be a lot of feelings, good and bad, you know, a lot of conflicting thoughts battling each other. Uh, the King of Cups is saying, I, I do feel like you are going to gain a lot more perspective on your feelings and emotions and you go, you are going through a transformation. This feels like an internal transformation within you okay all right the blessed energy seven of swords that is dodging a bullet you're going to discover something that you maybe you know failed in ended up really being the thing that you didn't want to go through anyways um now that you're in a better position okay let's clarify the world six of swords so for some of you like this is very interesting because again like you've dodged a bullet in something and it could be it could be a person realizing that somebody you know is a bit of a liar is out for their own self own gain it fell on the floor let me go grab it like now that you're moving forward i think that you're recognizing that there is a new cycle out there for you and one that is much better than someone who put you through chaos or, or whatever the seven of swords all right, breadcrumbing, for example. This feels like some of you are going to travel. So maybe you're happy that you didn't get that job, you know, for example, because if you didn't get that job, then you would never have. It's almost like you're able to really look at the perspective of something now that a new cycle is happening, now that you're moving towards much calmer times. Um, again, I do see travel coming up for some of you and that could be a lesson or it's a, that could be a message for some of you there. All right, the TikTok card, please, Spirit. The Nine of Swords, so yeah, feeling quite frustrated about the timing of something. Queen of Wands is telling me that, you know, you're feeling very confident, but I think that the timing of something is bringing in a lot of distraction and a lot of like those deeper feelings. It brings in the fear. Um, so just keep in that confidence. Again, try not to focus on the timing of something. There is clearly some divine timing happening at the moment. 
your sixth chakra so your third eye is being clarified by the three of wands and the knight of cups something about um something that you're waiting for might require some vulnerability from yourself i do see that your psychic abilities are strengthening by the way libra so that's good for you um three of wands with the knight of cups is actually feeling like you have to kind of cross some some difficulty to get to the other side and what that means is difficult emotions feelings if you're meditating a bit more it, like i'm seeing this like this like uh, this water is being represented as something that you kind of have to cross to get to the other side it could be extending something to somebody else all right asking for something if you don't ask you don't get that's the kind of i'm getting so some of you could be asking someone for an opportunity so that you can actually reach that next side all right first chakra your base chakra that's very interesting tower card huge shift in your identity something is falling away the way that you see yourself maybe a, a certain belief that you had of yourself is falling away you have the page of cups and the three of cups so there is some actual good news coming through when it comes down to your sense of self some of you could actually be getting some really good friendships all right there's something to celebrate uh with the page of cups some of you I mean maybe this is something that blocks your friendships with the three of cups and the page of cups maybe you felt like you wasn't really part of a group here um the tower card and the page of cups three of cups something is going to fall away and it's for the best whether it's a sense of self-image the way that you viewed yourself is shifting and changing um maybe it's you know the certain company that you keep maybe you thought you identified with that and now that's falling apart you realize that you're actually not like these people for example like it could go any way there is certain uh message to do with the group though like people around you and feeling a little bit left out or feeling not good enough or feeling um maybe you are the youngster of the group and maybe that's intimidating or whatever like there's something here about your identity shifting and changing there is going to be some good because of that but it could happen in a very destructive way of course tower card can be difficult to deal with a little bit like an ego death at times to be honest with you which can never it's not really easy to deal with an ego death because it's like oh my god like i thought this about myself and now i'm realizing that that's not who i am or that's not the way i should act or whatever like you are gaining a lot of clarity and that's a good thing to know how to handle a situation or to know the truth of a situation is a good thing even if it's difficult for example so that's the kind of like bittersweet energy that i'm sensing when it comes down to that and again it could be pertaining to a group of people um that's around you or the way that you relate to the world around you all right i do see you making more friends after the shift of your identity though all right well that's a very um messy reading but i hope you guys enjoyed it i wish you guys all the best i send you my love uh apologies if there has been any noise in the background but i do know that this mic is actually much better than the other one it's my podcasting mic so it's, it looks strange but you know it's what it is gonna get a message out there so there we go i love you guys i wish you all the best and i hope to see you guys next time all right